Hello and good afternoon everyone. Welcome back to my channel and I hope you're all doing fine. Uh, today's video is going to be about a very popular topic. A lot of you have been asking me. Surinder from India, Noja from Morocco, uh, Java from Syria and uh, my other students Anna, Ashanti, right? All of you, you are focusing right now how to improve your English. So I'm going to be giving you tips and tricks how you can improve your English on a day-to-day -day Before I start it, I'm going to have to tell you a small story. Uh, <clears throat> this is about communication, right? Uh, I'd I'll, I'll I'll like to share a very small incident. You know, sometimes there is one small thing that someone suggests and it stays with your mind, in your mind, and it stays with you for your life. The line which stayed with me, right, uh, was... Uh, while I was working for a company in Gurgaon and I was undergoing the voice and accent training I was into customer services uh, for uh, big corporations like Citibank, uh, IBM, etc. In that training, the trainer told me remember, communication can take you places. That line stayed with me for life. That is the sentence that I can never forget in my life. And it actually did. It was a, I went through a journey in which I was able to join an international airline. I traveled around the world for five years. This is about, I'm talking specifically to the airline aspirants. If you plan to join an international airline, you want to travel throughout the world just focus on these few things that I'm mentioning to you. You might be from India, Africa, Philippines, or Syria, wherever you might be, right? This is a, something that if you follow it, it will really help you a lot. I never forget, forgot that line. Communication can take you places. Uh, so today we got, we're going to be focusing mainly on English communication, right? First of all, I understood this fact that English is the international language which is spoken world across, throughout the world, right? It is the language which will make you more employable, right? It will make you get admission to your international studies or universities. It will help the professionals like nurses and doctors to migrate and have a bright future for yourself. That is why I'm fo specifically focusing on students who wish to go abroad for studies nurses and doctors who are preparing for OET who want to migrate and also on uh, the other people who want to join airlines, uh, international airlines, right? And people who want to improve their English in general. So the first thing that I would like to say is think in English. Remember, a mind is the biggest tool which you have. It is a very sophisticated instrument that, the God, that God has given to us. Therefore, if you are thinking in the same language that you want to speak in, it will have a big impact on your skills. Right? For example, uh, if you are thinking in the same language, right, when I'm going to be saying something to you, a message to you, you will be able to translate, you will not have to translate it from English to your language and then your language back to English. It's going to be a long process. Within that time, the person will come to know that you're not very fluent with English. What happens is, whenever you think in any particular language, there's a certain perception that you have about life and about things. So once you start getting that perception, even if, it, if it's a very small thing, for example, in Hindi early morning, if you get up and if you think that, uh, if you say to your mother, uh, Mummy, uh, chai mein chin thodi kam hai. You know, that's in Hindi, very small sentence. But if you say the same thing in English, uh, Mom, the sugar is a little bit less in the tea today. You know, even that small sentence will make an impact on your brain. So first thing is, think in English all the time. Second is, listen to it more and more. Most of you are not uh, very unfamiliar with the language. Most of you who may have interacted with you do know the language, but the only thing is that you need to create an atmosphere which is around you. Atmosphere will be created by first is internal. Internal is by your brain, how you're thinking. If you're thinking internally in the language, it will be easier for you. Second thing is external. 
we often blame our environment and our circumstances that we did not get the right kind of atmosphere to improve our english let me tell you about myself although i did was uh, formally educated in english from the starting itself around 6 to 7 years in my uh, school life i was in uh, in haryana where there was no atmosphere of english however it stuck to me that i have to speak in english given by my elders that never forget this language right keep your flow up to date i could have forgotten it very easily i could have mingled in an atmosphere which was, which would did not have english however i made a constant effort to read newspapers read magazines on a daily basis right and also watch movie shows right so atmosphere is very important how your atmosphere is created what decides your atmosphere the first thing is what you listen to you watch videos on the youtube you watch television are you watching the news in hindi uh, or uh, uh, you know your own language uh, malayali language or arabic language which language you're watching it in you're listening it to start listening to english news right second uh, start watching english television shows with subtitles if you need you can watch with subtitles as well that's fine next is start reading children's books right children's books in english you can even find online these children books will make you uh, make you very uh, will, will these children books will make you more familiar with the grammar right because it's spoken on a very basic level right as a child i used to read a lot of comics and uh, story books as well so that builds up the base of the child in the language that is the basic once your base is sorted vocabulary can come up later on right you can you can uh, l- vocabulary see vocabulary is like a sea you can learn as much of words as you want but then depending on if you going a particular exam if you going oet the vocabulary will be specific to oet ielts it's a different ball game all together right airlines yes it's a different vocabulary so first is the basics your grammar should be correct then start uh, playing tech talk on the video right reduce the speed to 0.75 there is a speed button in the in the youtube section reduce it to 0.75 put an earphone on and start speaking with the speaker try to mimic the person what's going to happen is that because the speed is less you'll be able to understand it and when you repeat it you will also be speaking a lot of time do this for half an hour one hour every day as much as you can right next is start writing in english every day i have one of my student uh, named ms komal and she is a brilliant student she has excelled in her essays i'm very happy to see the improvement and she followed the tip the tip was to write in english every single day every single day write in english one page or two page if you're writing essays write and even if you have to copy it guys even if you write from a newspaper just copy just copy the goddamn thing right you don't have to uh, copy the way you used to do in your school right just copy mindlessly copy it with you know consciously be careful of the commas full stops new words right make a journal of this and then see on a daily basis how your sentence construction will improve right so now you're thinking in english first of all right you're listening to in english most of the time you're speaking along with what along with ted talk if you don't have anyone to speak to if you have people to speak to speak to them speak to your friends and then you are speaking uh, yeah as i told you speaking along with it then writing as well so mind is covered right listening is covered writing is covered and speaking is covered right now reading reading is a very important aspect not even for your mental growth but also for your uh, you know for your language as well when you read the various kind of books try to pick up, pick up books which interest you and pick up those books and read it religiously read it as if you it's it's a fun activity as if you enjoy it right next thing i would like to tell you is that maintain a diary of your progress try to see at the first day how you're writing or how you just try to record your videos how you're speaking the first day 
then check your progress after maybe a month of doing these activities then you can check it after two months of doing this right activities and then slowly try to make a journal of your progress another thing i would like to say is that maintain a vocabulary diary every day try to learn five words in the language that you want to learn in the english language learn five words every single day and try to make sentences based on that now the four uh, most important thing final thing that i would like to tell you is that guys change your atmosphere if your friends are not speaking in english if they're not contributing to your growth if they're demotivating you if your family is demotivating you if your colleagues are demotivating you you don't need such family or friends or colleagues because if they're not good for you it's not going to be of any use some of them will be jealous some of them will be try to pull you down some of them will demotivate you you have to keep a positive mindset and you have to be consistent i would prefer that you are alone rather than in bad company bad company these these people they will just try to pull you down there are many people who don't want any growth in their life they're satisfied with their life it's good for them but the worst thing is that they try to spread the negativity stray stay away from negative people completely right so guys these are some of the tips which will really help you i will promise you if you follow this 3 months down the line i you will definitely see a change and 6 months down the line you might be will be a different person altogether okay and uh, keep up the spirit i'm sp- focusing specifically on airline candidates if you want to get it through international airline see the world the way i have a sp- travel more than 60 to 70 countries my perception of life really changed dramatically oit students nurses and doctors you want to migrate to uk australia ireland new zealand right this video is also for you focus on these things and other students who want to go for abroad for studies or, or studies to uk us etc who going to be preparing for ielts these steps are proven steps and a lot of students have got the result for migration for immigration and for oet you can check it on my uh, facebook page uh, oet ninja and ielts doctor a lot of the results have been displayed there so guys keep up the positive spirit and uh, if you have any questions leave in the comments and sections below also like subscribe and share the channel if you do that i will be able, i'll be motivated to make good content for you in future and uh, yeah of also if you are looking for one to one coaching i do provide that on the zoom platform every single day if you want that for sure you can say, leave in the comment section i'm going to get back to you be awesome be motivated and take care